music. Are y'all kidding me right now, Walking Dead? Stop this shit. This is a zombie show. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, K Geek XX Chic, and we are back with another reaction to The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. We are now to episode two, which is called Gone. Episode one, it was great. I loved it, absolutely loved it. My favorite episode of The Walking Dead, probably ever, but honestly, since the prime went off the air, I have to say, just it nailed it. Loved it. Andy Lincoln reminding us of how he led that show for as long as he did. And even though we only got Michonne for a few seconds, you know, Denai just showing us that face, her face at the end of the episode, looking at her man after so long. Mm, masterful. Absolutely great. But yeah, we learned a lot in the last episode. We basically caught up with Rick and what has happened over the last 10 years that he has been gone. We see that unfortunately he has been detained by the CRM and that they've been working really, really hard to condition him into believing that it's the future and that his being there is the right thing to do instead of trying to go back to his family. We met a character named Okafor, who we also lost last episode, who really was rooting for Rick. And honestly, we owe him for Rick's life. So even though he had to go, we gotta be thankful that he was there to at least uh, keep Rick alive all these years. And yeah, basically, oh, we also met another character, Thorn, who I'm still very much on the fence on. But anyhow, that seems to be kind of another parallel for Rick, but we'll have to see. We spent a lot of time with her last episode, so I think we're gonna be seeing her again. But that doesn't matter right now because our babies are back together now. I really would love to believe this whole episode is gonna be about the two of them, but I do think we're gonna to go to Michonne's story this episode, find out what she's been up to. She left the show a while ago. I believe that Showtime, she's been gone for about two, three years maybe. So maybe not that long, maybe about two years, but either way, she's been gone. We don't know what's been happening with her and we are very interested, myself, very interested to know what's going down. So I don't wanna to talk too much. I'm so ready to get into this. You have no idea how hard it is to wait for it every week, but we're here. So let's jump into the episode. But just before I do, a reminder that if you'd like to be notified when I do uploads to this show or anything else you might be checking out of mine, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Please, like last time, let me know what's going on in the comments, guys. It was lovely to see you all. You were showing us back in my comments, hyping us up. I love it. All right, that out of the way, let's get into the episode right now. Bro, how are you so burdened? Let me help you? Cass, Casman, let me help you? Is that what that said? Damn, you did not get to rest in any kind of peace, huh? I love this intro. I'm usually not an intro girly, but I feel like it's gonna have to be an every time kind of thing. <laughs> don't judge me, don't judge me. I just found out that he's alive. That's right, not the might. She knows. I saw two people who needed me. King Batch, what's up? First, I just want to thank you. I appreciate that. Could I have a horse? To the point. I just wanted to get to know a little bit about you. I just need a horse now. About our community. I need to find my man. That someone. It's pressing. I have to go. I'm eager mm. to go because I just found out that you he's... could be an asset to this place. You know, if you don't mind saying. Give her a horse. Listen to King Batch. <laughs> That's something you never thought I'd say. We have a community. We have kids. Yeah. Kids who need to Family. see their father. Kids who I need to see. So mm. I have to find you them. don't want to go north, not now. Stay with us until the migration is over. Migration. Tri-state area. Just stay with us for a little while. Get to know us. They say you don't stop for anyone. Ever. Hmm. Not even your own sister. We are a community. We live by the same rules. We don't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Well, this is how we've survived. But not everyone, right? Hmm. Let her know. So sharp. A simple yes or no would have been fine. Oh! I'm out. You know the rear guard tried to stop me from going after them? Of course you do. Because I... Well, I'm done. I'm packing my wagon. I'm packing my wagon. He's done. She was your sister. And they were my friends. Mm hmm Jesus Christ, she was your sister. Not <laughs> He was like, I had that rant planned and I needed to be emotional. I'm sorry, I was in the zone. <laughs> she saved us. Who now? Hi. <laughs> brought them back. Why wouldn't I? What was I supposed to do, eat them? <laughs> you want your own wagon? You ride VIP with us from now on, say the word. <laughs> Thanks, but... Uh, we like him. Or is this somewhere you gotta be? North. You know about the migration? Five mile wide hordes of the whaling? I'm going. Yeah, she's not scared. Let me get you a horse. You can have your pick. Nah, she can have her goddamn pick. She, don't make him, she's like, I do not, 
make him say it again. He didn't stutter, ma'am. Man had to come in there on a full ass rant, upset with your ass, thinking you in charge. We know who actually has the reins in this community. Thank you. Love you. I love you both. Hmm. Stick with us for a night. Sleep in a bed. Do your suicide commission tomorrow. <laughs> it's my sister's horse and she doesn't know it yet. <gasps> Can't wait to tell her. Y'all are so mean. I love it. But if you give us a night, if it's a chance to equip you, tell you how some of that equipment works, well... I feel like this is a good offer, Michonne. I mean, it's probably a trap, but look at her. One night. <laughs> right? He's cute. We measure. You get to work. I walk her through the scream six, God help her. Then she sleeps. Mm -hmm. So she can face oblivion with some pep. Yes. And we do an all-nighter. Okay. Listen, sir, we love you. We love you. And what a scream six. You're going to have to find out tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Take, take a load off, girl. You deserve at least one night. I'll say that much. Take a night, sleep in a bed. This man is trying to set you up to be more apocalypse ready. We know you deadly on your own, girl, but everyone needs a little help. Sean, you're going to find him. I know it. Because I found him, you found us. Circles, you know? I agree. Rick blew up on a bridge and it's been years. Tread lightly, Nat. I mean, we don't have time. I like these two. Now I like you. Not too keen on losing 33% of the people I can stand on this planet. However, I mean, this is real talk. It's not a world where you can find people you like very often. I think you're all too smart not to find another way. Ah, I guess we're surprisingly stupid, Michelle. Or afraid. Yeah, the fear, probably the bigger part. I feel like the mechanist is a good person to keep with you. You said your kids were in Virginia, right? You're going to be out of range soon if you aren't already. Hmm. You can still talk to them, though. Then you can show it to them. When you get back. Thanks. We like him. Okay, so they weren't exaggerating about the whole migrating south thing. Not walkers developing the same patterns as Canadian geese. What's going on now? I don't, I don't know. This is not the time to have your Jon Snow versus the battle moment. Like, no, no, no. That's too many. Michelle, you good, but. We don't want to lose the horse, do we? Oh, it's a harpoon. That's where those came from. Last episode, that sound. That was the sound that was going against the helicopter. Ma'am, you're gonna use them all now? This may only be the first horde. Oh, what we just saw in the beginning. So... There goes your horse, damn it. So someone planted that in the horde. Oh God, oh God, get up, come go. Let's go, let's go girl, get up. I know you dazed, but be dazed later. No, go, go, this is too many. Huh? What was that? Not the parting of the Red Sea. Thank you God. <laughs> I said red. It should have been parting of the Dead Sea. I can't believe I missed that one. Damn it. Oh, it's them. Friends. Well, we didn't want to be afraid and stupid anymore. It turns out others felt the same way. Mm -hmm. You see these fires? They're going to burn on either side of the valley for a while. She's like, all right, I guess technically I was being a little kamikaze there. <laughs> Natty said you'd need a beer. Hell yes. Look at her. She was there with them for less than 12 hours and look at the way she inspired them. You fell off your horse. Oh my God. I didn't fall off. I was knocked off. I was knocked off. Thank you. There is a distinguishing. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for waking our asses up. I know how to build things and I know how to burn things. Mm. It takes more than that at the end of the world. It does. You showed me that. Look how inspirational she is. No, no, I'm fine. I know. <laughs> Michonne's like, my man is to cook for me. You're pregnant. Oh. Astute. He was trying to surprise me. Apparently, honey just never expires, I guess. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things. Oh, That's I don't feel I, guilty. He, was out there. he did it because he wanted to. It's not on you. But I found him. You did. You found us. The hell, I'm gonna be raising this big headed baby by myself in the apocalypse. <laughs> we wanna be there when you find Rick. No. I, I get it. 
We will. After you find Rick. They're like, listen, this seems really epic. Like, we want to watch the reunion. Even though it wasn't exactly the most romantic. <clears throat> My dad wasn't in the picture. Supreme asshole didn't want a little, little kid. Mm -hmm. Jerk. So I started burning things. Well, that does happen. This guy with his stupid name looked at that and said, hell yes. Oh. Some men are like that, thank God. What is it to say, the father who stepped up? Did he forget to turn off the stove, the sink? He found ways to keep your little trouble behind busy. Because that's somebody else I liked. Mm. Sounds like you loved. Loved, I was about to say. Oh God, what's going on? Uh oh, get down, get down, hide, quickly. Run. No, don't turn. Keep, keep going. They're gonna shoot, aren't they? Gas? CRM? Really? Oh, you know what? That's the gas they were testing. I forgot. That's right. That's the gas world beyond, right? They were testing this? Ew, 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 ew. Did not need that. No. Oh my God. Does the pregnant lady have a weapon? I don't like this. So is this because they're close to the base? Or is it just them being general a-holes? Oh my god. That is horrible. Oh, there's dead inside. Okay, Michonne's got it. Oh my god, this is awful. This is awful. Why do humans create such horrible things? No, not her, not the baby. She's gone too far now. We gotta keep going. And find those bastards. Dora's get. <laughs> yeah, no, Michonne's gonna have to get those people. Medical blossom is like their bees. Oxygen. Oxygen tanks. It's worth a try. Find something to tie her into the bed. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you gotta prepare. Don't fall asleep next door. Mm. Damn. Oh, this sucks. Uh, I see that look, bro, and I agree. We're going to find those men. That's that's what happened in the finale, or the last episode. My man built those things, because why? Michonne, she's such a soldier. Are you kidding me? Oh, you weren't. You tried, Michonne. You tried. Who tried? Where's Bailey? She made the choice though, unfortunately she did choose to come. Oh, he's gone too, damn. He looked like he was doing better than she was, but I guess not. Please not Nat too. Nat looked like he was doing well. Peace out, King Batch. Okay, he's still with us. He was right. <laughs> when you can, <laughs> you need to go home. Nah, it's too too late now. He's gone. No. Nope. Respectfully? No. You're not taking my hope. <laughs> I know you down right now, but you're not taking my hope, sir. I've been through too damn much. Chlorine gas. Read about it as a kid. Used to dream about dropping it. <laughs> Nat, we need to talk, bro. You need some help. <laughs> Respectfully, the mad scientist term is becoming a little too valid for you. It's gonna take a while to get better. If we do get better. You will. Sean is not dying today. Yeah, maybe it's a little too soon for exercise. Gives me reminders of, remember back in season three when Michonne was working out in the prison? My girl strong. Okay, so we're in the fall now. Dang, took a minute to heal indeed. I go to your home and you go to Bridger's terminal? Yeah, she's not stopping. The other way around, this is how it's gotta be. No. Aiden and Bailey were supposed to go. They didn't. Now you- This is all I got. Okay? You. Mm hmm. That's it. 
I get it. I'd be attached to Michonne too. It's close. And I'll fix that cart. Hold it with my gear. What, you expected me to pull it? Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like him. I know how it ends. Oh. Look, the look in his eye when they first got in that little shop. That man wants revenge. Look, at, see, Michelle's like, did you know you could get walkers to be <laughs> labor for you? Because I was doing it for years. Safe heart, well, doesn't look that safe to me, unless it's a facade. So many, oh my God. Yeah, that was dumb. Oh, not hurts. Oh my God, having to search the bodies. Are you serious? Oh no, the trauma. I mean, thank God he wasn't in there, but Jesus. And most of them, they don't have any shoes. I know you're trying to talk logic, but we're not hearing it right now. I still feel him. That's right. Your phone, you know what it says? The Japanese? Uh, clearly not. Believe a little bit longer. But you can still believe he's out there. That's it's not been enough. right in front of me, hasn't it? It's been so long. Mm -mm, no. If he were alive, he is. He would have found his way. Honey, he tried. He really did. You can know when to go. That's you making some both. sense. He's wrong. But he's I making sense. With you. It's not giving up. It's so interesting because we saw in the last episode how Rick got to that point where I remember when he burned everything because he's like, I just got to let go for my sanity. And it looks like Michonne's getting to that point here, which is understandable. She can't possibly imagine the CRM even exists. No, not her grieving him again. Whew. The CRM must pay for their crimes. That's all there is to it. Okay, so now we're up to now. Okay. Oh, so this is why they hate the helicopters. What? You're telling me these two took that helicopter down themselves? I thought there was like a group. The fact that you shot down your own man without no, look at her face. She's like, oh no, that's right. We're taking him down. Uh-uh. My man had good ass aim. I can't believe these two did this alone. That is crazy. And the Hawkeye. That was revenge that guided that one. Sorry, Okafor. Not really though. Damn it, it was a dud. It wasn't a dud. That was the one that went through. The first one went through to Okafor. I'm sorry, I'm still blown away that they did this alone. That's crazy. Now you're a gangster. You're a gangster, sir. I got him. Mm, so I'm like, let me take care of this. You should go. We will. Mm-hmm. Revenge is a beautiful fuel when you need it. Mm. Two man crew did all this. CRM, you thought. You thought. Oh mm, my god, she did it slow. She said, I'm taking my revenge. Woo! Peace out, whoever you are. Look at me. What's up? Not her in her murder Rick mode. Thank God she wanted to look them in the eyes first. Damn, all that rage gone in a second. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Don't shoot them, Nat! Don't don't shoot him. Sure? I know. 
Brad's probably all stinking and we don't even care. Oh my god. End the show right now. We're good. We don't need anything more. This is great. We can end it here and I'm fine. Oh my god. The music. Are you all kidding me right now? Walking Dead. Stop this shit. This is a zombie show. He's like, what the hell just happened? How did you do this? More. Yeah, he called it in. You were a part of a community that fell years ago, some someplace small. Yes. Don't show them who you are. Yeah, they will take you out immediately. What I am. Yeah. Straw. Yeah. A leader. You hide it. Shown, I promise. I'll make it so we get away. I mean, she's not wrong. He's not wrong. Sean. I have a friend. He did all this. He, he's not with them. Well, how the hell? <gasps> no, I like yes. that. He's not surviving that. God damn it. Can you tell? I can. That's a great question. You, you can still believe. No, I like oh, no. that! God damn it! The show. Why? You're so. Not the tear. Come on. Do you have anything with you that can tell them about you or Alexandria? Maps, notes, anything? Uh, a journal, a uh, radio, a phone. You need to say he had the sword. You took one of the soldiers' guns off the ground, and you stopped him. Damn. And you need to put your hands up. They have to see that. And call him something else. Don't call him walkers. I call him that. Damn, Rick. He's been thinking about this for a while. I love you! Jadis. Jadis is going to ruin all of this. Uh, she knows them both. She's like, I can't even be mad right now because my man. Oh, God. Out there a long time by myself. You better show them those acting skills, girl. It's strange to hear my own voice. She's taking notes from Carol. My sister, Elle. And then things changed. Did y'all know that she was a they fiction changed. writer? I didn't. Does it bother you that you're being observed? A little bit. No. Wouldn't it bother you? I just haven't seen myself in a while. This is a place of law. And what's here? It's what I've been looking for. Well played, the truth. It's what I've been trying to believe. Hidden in a story. Put them both in here. <laughs> Why does he get to go? You didn't even get to tell him about RJ yet. The thing is, I don't want her to join the military because she'll definitely, Jadis is going to know her. They're going to have to kill her. Bowl cut's gotta go. I don't know how. Girl, you better stop smiling so wide. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mixed bag. Damn it if we're not giving RJ another sibling right now. <laughs> they believed you. Of course. She's like, I'm an amazing actress. <laughs> Sorry, we're waiting for so long. Oh, right. We haven't had time to talk about this. One of the last times I tried to get home. You tried? One of the last times? I went, I tried many times. We will get away together. They're okay? She's okay? Yes. Tell them about Archie, please. She's okay. Tell about RJ, please. What is it? Tell him when we get away. No, she's okay. No, tell him, please. The rest when we get away. Are you freaking kidding me? Somehow. Could we stop them? That's a lot. No. Don't Could look at him try. like that. Honey, you don't know what he's been through. Sorry about your friend. We're here together now. Yes, you are. 
and we're gonna get home. Period. He's like, I don't care about none of that right now. I just really wanna <laughs> get you pregnant again, ma'am. <laughs> oh God, was Jadis in there? Just haven't seen myself in a while. Is Jadis in there? It's bowl cut, I freaking know it is. It's, it's bowl cut. Michonne, don't try anything yet, okay, dude? I know it's hard. Yeah, starting to get the scale now, Michonne. I get you, girl, but you, you gotta be smart about it. We can't go the way we did in the past. Not her clicking the lighter. Danger. That's why he was playing with it. Damn. Oh, God, there's more. Let's continue to keep certain things between you and me. As we have. You look good. Shut up. What do you want, Cal? She found you. Just take her out now, Rick. Could, she could. Take her out now. Do it quickly. Say it was an accident. Her head accidentally exploded. It was her sword. But I'm keeping that off the books. Just up here. Take her out now. But if you try to escape with her, I will make sure that all those people that you love die. Including a few that I like. Very much. Take her out now. I've had to do things like that. No, I you chose to. to do things like that. Rick, what the fuck are you doing? Choking you out, hopefully. Oh God, this show has me. I have so much anxiety right now, guys. It is way too early to have anxiety. <laughs> oh, we had this beauty. And then right after that, every. Okay, guys, this was a great episode, and I did expect that it was going to be a little bit shorter on the whole what happened with Michonne, because comparatively, she's been out in the wilds a lot less than, than Rick, right? We only had about, well, I guess the show's saying now about four years? I didn't think it was supposed to be that long show time, but she's been gone a long ass time is the point. And she met up with, we saw that traveling, migrating group. And I'm glad they kind of kept it small because I was thinking we would have a whole thing with her like ingratiating herself to this community and things like that because that's kind of what has always been the Walking Dead thing. But we didn't really have time for that. <laughs> she was like, I'm on a mission. I don't want to join no new communities. Ain't no, no time for no friends, no new friends. We just need to get out there. And she met some very key people though, Nat and Bailey and, um, oh gosh, what was the woman's name again? I keep forgetting the girl's name, but she meets them. Those are the, Bailey and the girl who she rec um, sorry, rescued. And we see that Nat was very close to them and he was super grateful to Michonne. And that's what got her the horse and the gear. And he was just a really handy person. Like he would have been amazing, which is why, here's the thing though, I guess we'll get to him in a second. But anyway, that's kind of who she ended up ingratiating herself to. And we see that she was basically like, look, if your group is not letting you go after people you've lost or save people, is it really the right group? And they basically said, well, we kind of stayed with them out of fear, but Michonne inspired them to leave and go their own way and find a different way. And Michonne was saying, hey, you can come back to Alexandria, which is a different community where we have more of the same ideals. And so that's the reason that they decided to follow her. But she was like, look, I'm gonna be going to where I'm going first though. I'm not going back to Alexandria. So she was prepared to give them instructions to go back, but bless her heart, the romantics there were like, we wanna see y'all running me a night, man. That's what we're here for, the love, the romance. <laughs> and like I said in the episode, I do not blame them because I would be same, same says same. But anyhow, they, unfortunately, the CRM saw them because they were a big enough group of people that they were someone that they could be seen from the air and the CRM dumped chlorine gas all over them. Now, this could have been one of two reasons, as I said in the episode. One is just maybe they were a little too close to one of the bases and they just did not want them discovering it. We also know that the CRM just takes out people if they feel like it. But also from the world beyond, I remember that there was a gas that they were developing because they thought it might be something that could stop the reanimation. So they could have just been that they were using them as test subjects, which is what they were trying to do back in um, the university, right? So yeah, I, it's one of, I think it's one of those two things. But anyhow, that obviously marked the serum as an enemy for Michonne from that point forward because we lost Bailey and his girlfriend and we know she was pregnant as well. So we lost three people 
and nearly lost Nat. It almost took out Michonne. We see that she had a lot of lung damage, but thankfully they were able to find oxygen and shelter. And that's what, you know, it took months. It took a long time. I mean, they showed through the, I really like the creative way the show has been showing time passage with the seasons. But yeah, I think she was in that place for about a year, almost a year while she was recovering from the chlorine gas. And eventually she was like, I gotta keep going. And she told Nat to go back, but Nat said, no, like you're, you're my family now. Like you're all I have left. So I'm going with you. We're gonna, wherever we're going, we're going together. So that was really sweet. Nat was really, really fun. I enjoyed him so much as a character. I loved his sense of humor. I love how quick witted he was. I love how blunt he was. Like you could just see him and Michonne would get along so well because they're kind of, cut from the same cloth in their own way. But anyhow, he said, yeah, I'm going with you, Michonne. Uh, we didn't go this far for me to leave you behind at this point. So they kept going. They met, they went to the place that was on Michonne's original map destination. Clearly bad things had happened there. Piles of bodies. And they didn't look like it was that long ago that they were burned either. So again, we don't know at this point, it was the CRM that showed up and decided to take everybody out or something happened. But either way, she was like, this was the last point that I know of that Rick was at. And there's no way for me to know if he's in any of these piles of bodies. So she basically at that point was ready to let go and just, you know, believe that maybe he wasn't in this group, but she has no idea where to go next at this point because all she had with Rick's items was that one point. So really beautiful moment with Nat basically saying to her, telling us finally what the Japanese on that phone meant, but also just letting her know that it's fine for her to just believe he's still okay, but that she just wasn't able to find him and just hold on to that when she went back to her family. So heart-wrenching scene with her kind of grieving the idea of him not, or at least grieving the fact that she wouldn't be with him again. I'd say that cry was more about, cause she's still, like she said, I can still feel him. So yeah, it sucks, right? To go all that way, be gone as long as she was, get that close in her mind and then have to let go of the idea of being with her. We saw Rick go through it in the last episode when he finally burned all of her, the things he was keeping. Like, I just gotta know she's out there, but give up on the idea of being with her, right? So I like that they showed the parallel of both of them, letting go of that idea for the sake of their sanity. But then as serendipity would have it, right after that, the helicopter with Rick in it, the Lord said, no, no, <laughs> I like this ship. <laughs> this is the ship that I'm on. So he sent Rick to her. And obviously after what they had been through, now we understand why they took the helicopter down. They were like, we're not gonna wait for y'all to drop something on us this time. Plus a little revenge. Both of them wanted to get a little revenge. Michonne was not playing. Neither was my man. Can we just, once again, deep the fact that Nat took that thing down himself? Nat did that. The two of them, I thought there was like a group that was waiting in the bushes for this helicopter. It was two people, two badasses to be fair, but two people did that. Oh, child. Like I said, all the props to Nat, he was a real one. He would have been dangerous if he had survived, let's be real. And I'm so sad because I thought like, there's their key, what's a huge key? If we could bring Nat into the community and he can hide somehow that he was the one that built that stuff, he could have been so key, but anyway. RIP Nat, anyways, uh, we see what happened. Unfortunately, one of the soldiers was not gone and Michonne should have known to double tap though in fairness, but I get why she was distracted. <laughs> Anyhow, he we lost Nat, unfortunately. And uh, we hear Rick and Rick, of course, they have their beautiful, they have their beautiful reunion moment. It's so beautiful. It was everything. It was everything. It was everything. It was so good. My heart. Anyhow, uh, yeah, they have their moment and then Rick snaps into it really quickly and he's like, they're coming. Like we radioed for help right before they're coming. And he starts, he goes right into the mode. And again, thankfully, because he's tried to escape so many times, he's conditioned for this. So he basically says to her, like, this is what you got to say. You got to pretend that the sword wasn't yours. Sadly, we got to blame everything on your little friend here. Like we just, like, he's like, this is what you do to get taken in. I know what you need to say for them to allow you into where we're going. Cause otherwise they're going to have to execute you on the spot. And that's not going to happen on Rick's watch. So anyhow, she's like, I don't understand. And he says right off the bat, I'm not with them, which I love when he said, I'm not with them. He had just said he was. <laughs> The hilarity of literally 10 minutes prior, he told Okafor, I'm in. <laughs> but listen, we all know that his heart was never in it. He was just like, let me do what I gotta do. Cause I think when Rick said he was in, I think what he meant was I'm not gonna try to run away anymore, which was true at that point. He was like, I'm not gonna try to leave anymore. Cause I realized it's gonna endanger my family. But I think he was thinking, I'm just gonna be in here so I can keep an eye out and make sure y'all never get to Alexandria and hurt my people. But now, He's like, okay, I just wanna let you know, I'm really not with them, I'm not with the shits, just don't worry about it. And so 
that was, you know, and I love that Michelle said, I know you're not. Like, she's like, I know my man and I know you would never be down for this. And I do wonder, it's kind of like a lingering question, like would Rick have ever got to the point where he would have justified doing one of these things? But let's hope that we never get there. Anyway, so yeah, beautiful moment. And he tells her what to do. He's like, he lets her know everything he's going to do. He's like, he's like, I got to put my gun on you. I'm sorry, all these things. Like, we have to make this look real. And so we see Michonne go ahead and give us some acting classes, okay? She got into her Carol when she answers a new, a new uh, community mode of, oh, I'm just this docile woman. Oh, I was on my own with my with my sister and my boy. And, you know, I just, I had a bow staff. And I just, I said, girl, you better let them know that you are Emmy worthy, okay? Right here and now. She just put on the performance of a lifetime, said what you needed to say, and she ended up getting let in. But that bow cut, big headed, I hate Jadis. I've hated Jadis since she was on the show, on the main show. I never liked Jadis. I never did. And I always felt like Rick should have taken her ass out. I'm so mad he was on his piece. I'm, you know, kumbaya stuff when, you know, after everything she did. But I mean, I guess, again, I always have to remind myself that if we didn't have Jadis, we wouldn't have Rick, right? Because she was who saved Rick. But still, she got to go. And you know what? Michonne owns her. Michonne owes her an ass whooping. She, she been owing her an ass whooping. So... I feel like it's gonna be Michonne wins. I've taken her out and I'm gonna take great pleasure when that happens, but let's come back. So anyways, Michonne gets in. Unfortunately, she's on the outside still. I mean, as I said, I was scared of her joining the CRM because I thought that was what was gonna tip off our girl, but I had to know with only six episodes, we don't have time for all that. So anyhow, we see Rick and Michonne together. I'm sorry, I'm still fangirly. I'm gonna definitely gonna rewatch those scenes. Just, you're gonna be sick of me. Anyhow, <laughs> we hear Michonne be like, okay, what's the plan? And Rick's kind of like, look, we are going to get out, but we got we to gotta play this right. Like, we have to figure it out. We can't do this easily. And then Michonne finally sees that he's lost his hand, and she's like, what's this? And he said, one of the last times I escaped or tried to escape, this happened. And she's like, last times. And we saw earlier in the episode where Michonne was like, if he was trying to get to me, he would have got to me by now. And her mindset there. And thankfully, we heard Nat kind of talk her off that cliff. But that's kind of been a fear of hers. Like, what if Rick didn't want to come back, right? What if I've done all this and Rick wanted to stay gone? And of course, Rick kind of tried to explain, like, there's no way. Like, I need you to understand that I gave up not because I didn't want to come home, but because there is no way. And of course, he didn't have time to explain the fact that if he did, they would come for Alexandria. There's so much they need to talk about, but they can only steal moments right now because they're not supposed to know each other, right? And so how they were going to play this is going to be interesting anyways, because how do you even get to the point of like, I have no idea who this woman is? to suddenly we're like obsessed with each other, right? So anyway, anyone with eyes, I think Thorne is gonna pick up really quickly regardless that Michonne's her because Rick was too obsessed, right? <laughs> he was too obsessed for too long. But anyway, he uh, tells, he tries to explain to her what he can, when he can. She's basically like, you know, these guys are evil, right? And she's like, yeah. he's like, yeah, I kind of figured that out. But again, he's like, I haven't had to do anything yet, but there's only so much I can do. And so she's like, can we try and topple this place? Like, can we get rid of it so we don't have to worry about this threat forever? And he's like, yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Understandably, right? Because he knows the scale of what they're dealing with, right? He knows after years of being there that the CRM is massive. It's not one or two people. It's not even a few hundred. These are thousands of well-trained soldiers with multiple bases, right? So again, not saying if there's anyone who can't do it, it's them, but you understand where Rick is coming from. And so Michonne, you can see, is feeling some type of way. Like she's kind of like, all right, this is a little bit different. And I said this in the last episode that the two of them are going to have to relearn each other because even though they're still intrinsically the same people, they've been through different experiences and it's changed them and they didn't grow together, right? They had to grow, not grow apart as in like relationship wise, but they had to grow separately. That's the word. <laughs> they had to grow separately and change separately and adapt based on what they were going through. So Michonne is still very much on her Every place we've gone, we've just turned it on its head when the time was right. And Rick has been on that, I tried this. Well, actually he wasn't even trying to turn that place over. He was just trying to get away. So they've just been through some different experiences and Rick has got different things going on. He's got his own traumas that he's still sorting through. And Michonne does as well. But the point is Michonne has to kind of realize that Rick's, Rick's fire has been, it's been dampened. It's not out, it hasn't been put out, but it's been dampened over all these years of being worn down by the CRM and Okafor doing his mind games with him. So. She's gonna have to take some time. Hopefully she won't be on Rick's neck too much and recognize that he he's here for a reason. He's mentally and emotionally where he is right now for a reason. So hopefully she doesn't get on him too badly about it. But I do think her being there 
has reinvigorated him. It started to get those fires burning and not just the one in his loins because God damn, that man is ready to, he is trying to eat my girl alive and I don't blame him, okay? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I do think the two of them together were always stronger, right? They always work better together. So I think having her there now, knowing she's there is gonna be a lot, do a lot for him to reignite that passion in him to continue to fight. And plus having somebody else who thinks a little bit differently, like Michonne, I feel like was always a bit more strategic about certain things than Rick was. Rick was always very much a bulldozer in the way he handled things, but Michonne was kind of the one who could like, you know, just add a little bit more of the intricate pieces there. We'll have to see what they can do, right? Cause now they have another giant monkey wrench in their plan, which is that bullheaded. Yeah, Jadis obviously saw, and like I said, she would know Michonne, there's no way. Michonne is unforgettable. <laughs> Girl, she's unforgettable. And now she knows that the both of them are in the same place at the same time. And more importantly, that Rick found her, found her. So, you know, you think if Jadis was even remotely a human being, she'd be like, the fact that these two found each other, like the, the odds of this happening is so crazy that I gotta just step out of the way. God made this happen. <laughs> like at this point, I feel like if she had any sanity, she'd be like, there's higher forces at work. Let me just leave this alone. But no, Jadis, of course, on her power trip BS, had to let Rick know, oh, I know. I know what's going on here. I know what's happening. So just so you know, like, she's like, I'm not gonna say anything based on the idea that y'all are not gonna try anything. Because if y'all try to escape, I'm gonna take out Alexandria. That's basically what she's telling Rick. If you don't wanna lose everybody, including your babies, which she only knows about one. Oh my God, that brings back the fact that Michonne didn't tell him about RJ. Why Michonne? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. I was gonna say I get it, but I don't though. I feel like she should have told him if that anything's gonna reignite a fuel in Rick, it's knowing he's got a son too. But anyway, I guess she's got her reasons anyway. But yeah, she basically, uh, Jadis warns Rick that if he, they try to escape, it's gonna cost everything if they do it. And she's like, you know, I gotta do it. And she does her whole rough girl speech. You know, like, you know, I've taken out lives. Before. I've done this before. I've got blood on my hands. I don't care. So anyway, she asks Rick, what are you going to do? And he doesn't answer her, but the look in his face is enough to tell me. Cause at this point I feel like he should, he should just keep his mouth shut. Cause I don't think, I think even if he tries to lie right now, she's gonna know he's lying. But I, I just, mm. She's going to have an eagle eye on them. There's no doubt. Like, there's no way. I, this is what I said. Thorn, I don't trust. But I have a feeling that she's going to ask Thorn to keep an eye on them. Because obviously, Jadis is not like, she's not stationed there. She's off doing other things. So she can't be there all the time. But I, she's going to get a spy for sure to keep their keep their eye on Rick and Michonne to make sure they're not doing anything, that they're not plotting together. And I think it's going to be Thorn because Thorn is right in that area. So Thorn is either going to be friend or foe here. We'll have to see. Either she's going to see that Rick and Michonne did find each other despite everything we heard her say last episode. Because remember, in her, her whole speech was about how she was never going to see who she's going to see again, or who she wanted to see again. So it's going to be the same for Rick. Now here's Rick has his woman back and that kind of breaks that whole theory that Thorn had. So as I said, it's gonna one way or the other, either Thorn's gonna see that and realize that maybe just maybe there's a chance that she could see her loved ones again if she works with them, right? She could be the spy, the double spy, right? Or she actually does believe in the cause right now and she is gonna actually be a, a literal thorn in their sides. To be honest, I don't like Thorn enough to carry either way. If she goes, she goes, but if she helps out, that would be solid. I really appreciate that. But they're going to need help. The bottom line is they're not going to be able to escape on their own. They're definitely going to need help of some kind. But we only have four more episodes. So something's going to have to move, happen. It's going to happen quickly. But anyhow, great episode. Great episode. The reunion was everything. I loved it. I am going to rewatch it many times, as I said. And we'll have to see how things go. I feel like we're not going to have a lot of sweet time, really. I think we're gonna be getting into the action pretty quickly going forward. I see that there was a preview for the next one, but I like to just wait. I'm gonna wait and let myself absorb it when it airs, but mm, the show's still killing it, guys. The show is still amazing. Loved it, loved this episode so much. So yeah, very much looking forward to the next episode. Enjoyed this one a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love to the video and let me know in the comments what you thought of the reunion below, girls. I wanna hear all the gushing, all of the happiness, all that stuff. Please let me know in the comments below. Let's just bask in this love, at least for this episode. <laughs> all right. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one.